Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So, we got to talk about this Diddy situation. It's even more. Whew, stuff coming down the pipeline. So if you guys do not know, Freddie P from Making the Band, I've talked about Freddie over the years on this channel. Now, we've also talked about the infamous cheesecake situation that went down in about 2003, where he forced the Making the Band members to walk to Junior's, which is in Brooklyn, for a cheesecake, okay? And this was like, we've never seen nothing like this on reality television. And technically, we haven't seen anything like this since. But it was insane. He made these kids walk all the way to Brooklyn for a slice of cheesecake. Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Here goes a snippet of that scene right here. Yo, fam, Puffy just told us to go to the store in Brooklyn and bring him back a cheesecake and walk. Cheesecake, what? Yeah. 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 You see me on TV. Punk ass bitch, It's crazy. If I walk to Brooklyn, I'm going to home. Dream, That's where the yeah. f I live, y'all. I'm not walking the f Brooklyn is too crazy. Yo, it's called making the bitch, not making not the bag. Yo, fam, Puffy just told us to go to the store in Brooklyn and bring him back a cheesecake and walk. Cheesecake, what? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we got a cheesecake. He was like, oh, I want that shit. Take that shit upstairs from Beyonce. Then he said, um, they was like, yeah, man, we want to tell you uh, Fred and Dalon, they ain't walk back. You know, I'm trying to be on some snitching shit. He was like, I ain't tell you niggas to walk back. <laughs> I ain't tell you niggas to walk back. Y'all walk back. Like, yeah, I'm like. All right, so you guys just heard what Freddie P had to say. He said that the cheesecake was for Queen B. So this caused a lot of drama yesterday on the internet. A lot of people were shooketh. You know, again, Queen B, Jay-Z, a lot of these celebrities folks have been giving them the side eye. People are even saying that Jay-Z has scrubbed his Instagram page, which I don't follow him or Beyonce, so I don't know how their page looked like before or after. People are saying that Pink also scrubbed her Twitter page. We know Usher um, claimed that he was hacked, but his whole history on Twitter has been deleted. So it's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the industry right now. But now what's even crazier is that Suge Knight, who we know is in prison for like the next 20 years or something like that, he ended up calling into Chris Cuomo's show to speak about the situation further that's going on with Diddy. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this snippet right here. Okay, good. Okay, but you had a guy named Tubby. He used to work for Interscope. This guy's job was to bring underage girls and girls to have sex with employees and other artists to the point where his friend... That caught up with the same thing. How they rated Puppy House and Sex Trafficking? They rated his friend house and Sex Trafficking. You have 60 seconds remaining. He never was on it. Sure, can you say something? Can you say yeah, something you really positive? Look at the whole situation. Because you only got I mean, 60 everything seconds. Everything I'm saying right. is positive. And I got a hand of a call right back. All right, Shug, you call back. Do you, think, like do you think that we, Diddy... He can do so... Do you think Diddy knows enough that it's a very delicate balance that maybe investigators will want to know these other names and greatly reduce his exposure to criminality to time versus what people would do to keep him quiet. Number one, I've been knowing him a long time. And we was friends. We're not enemies, but we were friends. He's not a dummy. So he's smart enough to work his magic. On top of that, this man right here, he's been involved with the FBI and uh, of his career. Yeah, he got powerful people. One of his partners who started his company with drug money, President Obama, got him out of prison. So it's not like he don't have no moves. So I don't, I don't think nobody should just count him out. Mm. I don't think he's he going to lay down and just crawl in the corner and die. He's probably going through a lot of shit right now because mm. he's probably going through a lot of withdrawals the drugs, but the industry got him on drugs. My artist, well, my, one of the worst mistakes I could have made for protecting my artist is doing a deal at Interscope. When my artist used to pull up in Valet, the Murdoch building, they'd get out, they smell like weed. When they, they closed, it smelled like weed. When they, when they made it to any office, it would smell like weed. Those guys are my artists. They didn't do cocaine to my artists. Mm. So once they got on cocaine, once they got on drugs, once they got on alcohol, and that's when the weird stuff happened. And I think that's what took Buffy down that lane. Mm. Then when you got to remember, Clyde Davis, Russell Simmons, Andre Ariel. Simon, come on. You better believe it. Alcohol, drugs, he compromised his manhood. Because mm. he was taught that. He got Usher as a kid. They never recorded no songs, but alcohol, drugs, Diamond. sex. That's the beaver. And see, they do these things to take control. They're not doing it. There's nothing wrong with being gay. If you choose to be gay, that's your preference. But they're doing this to people for control. It's a power situation. All right. So y'all just heard what Suge Knight had to say. Suge Knight is literally repeating verbatim what I have been saying for years on this channel. That this goes deeper than Diddy. You got to look at the Clive Davises of the world, Andre Harrell. They turned that man out. Suge even said when artists were with him on death row, the most they could do was smoke weed. But once they started becoming more commercial, they were introduced to cocaine. Remember, Selena Powell said that Snoop Dogg was doing bumps of lying off of her coochie. Okay? Snoop Dogg was snorting coke off her coochie. She said this years ago. 
Now, another thing I find interesting is that recently somebody ran into Clive Davis and they asked him, you know, well, well, Clive, what do you think about the Diddy allegations? And now Clive is trying to play crazy. He's trying to play like a senile old man, acting like he doesn't know who Diddy is. Uh, bitch, first of all, we have plenty of receipts showing you alongside Diddy. But see, that's what they're going to do now. Now he's out there on his own. Okay? So all these people are going to try and play willfully ignorant, especially the older ones. And that's the same thing, you know, that Harvey Weinstein tried to do. When he was out here raping people and, and being a sexual deviant, he was walking just fine. But then once he got arrested and had to go through court, all of a sudden he needed a walker, he needed a cane. So these guys know how to play this little game that they play. Check out what Clive Davis had to say. People are curious about the status of P. Diddy. Status of what? Uh, P. Diddy. 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 What do you make of that situation? Right. No comment from Clive Davis on P. Diddy. Mr. Davis, you are a major influence on the career of P. Diddy. Have you spoken to him since the federal raid? Yes. Have you spoken to Sean Combs? Any comment, Mr. Davis? Any comments about Diddy? He credits you as one of his mentors. put that dog on his lap and was like, fuck you, media. These dudes be untouchable. Diddy thought he could be up in those spaces and he forgot you're a guest in the house of Clive Davis and these white overseers, okay? He thought that he was so big and bold that he was the black version of Clive Davis that he could go after Diageo. He could be a sexual deviant on the same level as a Clive Davis. They will always have the complexion for the protection. You see how he didn't answer no questions? He acted like the dude wasn't in there. He rolled up that window like, bitch, next. <laughs> Who you can't make this stuff up? Also, let's not forget that back in the day on the original Machiavelli cover that people are not trying to buy, it's going up for auction for what I'm hearing. On the original Machiavelli cover, you have, this is, there was an artist who drew this. His name was Ronald Risky Brent. And basically on the back of that album cover, this was the original one. It wasn't approved for the masses. And this is why. It shows Notorious B.I.G. as a pig. Um, and then it shows Diddy in a tutu, in a dress. So, you know, showing that Diddy is bi, he has a male head, but then the female body. And then a lot of people were wondering who is the woman behind this other guy. Like, who's this other guy? Well, the other guy in the album cover is Dr. Dre. And that's not a woman behind Dr. Dre. That's a grown-ass man, okay? And we've known for years that Dr. Dre is bisexual. Tupac talked about walking in on him. You know, Dr. Dre out here eating pussy and sucking dick. Pac said this years ago before he died. This whole industry is a fuck fest. And this whole Diddy situation is going to open up a can of worms like never before seen. Either he's going to have to tell everything he knows to try and get a sweetheart deal. If not, something may happen to him because he has a lot of connections to a lot of people. You even heard Suge Knight saying Obama's name. Usher, Justin Bieber. This is a sick cycle. Even now, I was so shocked yesterday. I was on Twitter and I seen Hakeem trending. And I'm thinking it's some Muslim man named Hakeem. I click on there and the dude that played Hakeem on um, Empire, Bashir Gray, literally his asshole, everything getting busted down wide open. And I'm hearing now that he has OnlyFans, he's having, he's gay for pay. Like what happened to this young man? Do you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> I was just so shocked by what I was seeing on my Twitter timeline. Just straight graphic pornography, straight graphic sex with this young man that used to be on Empire. So the whole situation is just insane. 
But let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, y'all. Let me know y'all's thoughts on everything. How do y'all feel about um, what Freddie P had to say about Beyonce and the cheesecake thing? And then also, what do you guys feel about the whole Shig Knight situation and what he had to say? And how do y'all feel about this album cover? Did you know about this album cover? Did you not know about it? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.